Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my little ASMR corner Or um, welcome if this is the first time you're watching my channel We're gonna be playing more gas station simulator today It is so fun, so addicting, and very satisfying uh, If you didn't see my last gas station simulator video, you'll see why Let's continue with the game Oh, here's Dennis, that little menace <laughs> He graffitis our gas station, the lols and everything Which is incredibly annoying um, And you have to like throw things at him to get him to leave And I think that's incredibly rude I have some coffee with me today And I might take a second doing? What are we doing? The store is open. Here is our lovely gas station right now. It, we've gotten it cleaned up pretty well. Um, but over here, you know, we got some gross looking stuff. Our warehouse is kind of gross. And you know what? Oh, the inside doesn't look good either. I could repaint these walls. I might do that today. But first off, uh, game's telling us we should buy some shelves We are, we can only buy level 1 shelves right now This is all locked So let's buy a soft drinks stand I'm gonna get the big one because we can afford it And a snack Stand, again, buy the big one And now, we just place them Well, I have room Oh, hold on, first of all, we have a customer Let's take care of the customer I'm gonna shift for a boost. Now, I've been so obsessed with this game that after I finished filming my last video, I I had to play more. I just... wrong thing. I've been so obsessed with it. And I've gotten really far in my personal game. I'm trying to make sure I'm lining it up right. Oops. Um, so yeah, I've been playing it a lot, and see, it's just like, it's just so far from the wall, weirdly. That, that's, <laughs> why is this so awkward? And now it's like, right, it's covering the, I don't like this. <laughs> I can't get it exactly the way I want, whatever, we'll leave it like that. Okay, I need to put the other one in. Um, the food stand. I guess I'll put the snacks over here. Um, yeah, I'll put them over here. I feel like there's actually not a lot of room to walk in. In fact, you can't even really walk in. I could put it more over here by the nasty trash, which is what every customer wants is to buy your food next to this pile of junk. Um, okay. We also are gonna need to buy, like, actual products to stock it, but right now they're asking us to buy parking spaces, so we go to features, go to other. Parking lot, and it's free. And I spent some time in the last video clearing spaces of, um, what? I already bought it. Why is it telling me? What? What is happening? I seem to be stuck. That was weird. Okay. Um, I spent time clearing all the sand, so this whole area will be our parking lot. Yeah, okay. We're getting a call from the thief. The uncle. And uncle says, Oh dear. You remember how he said that he was going to be very kind to us and like just pay for everything? Well, I guess there's no such thing as, you know, something truly free these days. And now we owe our uncle. Awesome. Also, he bought us some drinks and some snacks, which somehow have automatically 
arrived in our store, just teleported here. A little weird. So, uh, he says that we owe him $3,200. Oh dear. And he says cheers, which is not really an American thing to say, but I've noticed this game uh, seems European. <laughs> now we're talking about the cash register. Um, our current task is to serve the customer at the cash register, but as you can see, there's no cash, no, no customer. Hmm. No one here. Oh, but we do have a customer at the fuel pump. Hello, how are you doing? Let me just get that refilled for you. And then while we wait on a another customer, why don't we paint the interior? Well, we do have someone coming now, but we can go ahead. I'm just going to paint it white just because the walls were already white. Oh, and look at that. It's not satisfying. You get to see all the grime getting covered up. Oh, it's really good. This is what I mean by this game is just absolutely satisfying. To see something get cleaned up. All right, we have our first customer here. So this is how the game works. I'm just going to show you because I've done it. We hold left shift to start the conveyor belt, and then you grab the snacks, scan it, and drop it in the basket. And then you don't want them to just fall in the basket without scanning because apparently the laws of this world are it's automatically free. Um. And the customer makes this rule, and apparently, as the business owner, you get no say in it. Yeah. I'm not really sure how that works, and I think a lot of business owners out there in the world would disagree with us. Okay. Stay in the green. Somehow we're painting the areas even behind the clock and whatnot. doesn't look good down there. It looks bad. We don't even have a functioning toilet. It's not a very good gas station, to be honest. Oh, by the way, our current job is to pay the loan, but I don't have that much money. I have to pay 5000 and I have $498, and we have two and a half minutes to pay five thousand dollars. There is just no way humanly possible for me to get that much money without maybe selling a kidney or something. And I don't think that's an option in this game. I mean, as you can see, we're gonna get paid right now, but we only made forty-five dollars. Even if customers came non-stop for the next two minutes, I don't think we would make enough. Let's keep paying. How about these balls over here? We haven't painted them yet. We even have a sign that says toilet, but we have no actual working toilet. And I'll paint this one behind the snack shelf. Basically, we're going to have to wait out that clock and just see what happens. Well, it looks much better here, doesn't it? It does look a lot better, although, uh-oh. Someone tracked in some dirt. How dare they? Excuse me, sir. Make sure you wipe your feet before you come in because the last customer tracked a lot of dirt in and it was quite rude. But your shoes look pretty clean, so... Oh, we're also getting some trash. Oh, see, he's actually gonna... <gasps> sir, what did I say about wiping your feet? And as you can see, getting pretty full. Let's just go ahead and empty it. Just toss it in this giant bin back here. Whee, there we go. This concerns me. I don't like the sparking. Oh, yes sir, let me get that for you. We'll just check you out real quickly. What did you buy? Bought a nice drink. Did I scan it? Yeah, and a, a soda, a soft drink, a pop, more. 
just a lot of drinks. You're very thirsty, sir. All right, you have a good evening. Oh, another customer. Hello, ma'am. And this person would like to get some petrol, some gas. Gonna speed things up a little bit. We've been doing pretty good. We haven't really missed so far. I have messed up a couple times in my own game where, like, I accidentally, um, just clicked and... Oh, yes, get you some biscuits. And also, as you can see, the machine is getting a little dirty, so we can always clean it up. Like that. Got some potato chips and moon pies. Maybe a nice drink. I guess it's kind of rude to comment on what people are buying, right? Like, um, I, well, I mean, I guess I've actually had that happen to me, but not in, like, a negative way. In, like, a, the person at the cash register was like, oh, wow, that looks really good. Where do you get that? I've never even seen it in the store. And I'm like, oh, you have to get this. It's so good. Um, actually, a funny story that happened once with uh, oatmeal. I was buying some oatmeal. And if you're American, you might know what this is. Oh, the phone is ringing again. Hold on. We're busy. I, I don't think they have it outside America. I'm not sure. But basically, it's dinosaur oatmeal. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's oatmeal with little dinosaur-looking eggs inside, and when you put in... What is... Oh, sir. Sir. This is violent. My good... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, back to dinosaur oatmeal. <laughs> you put in uh, milk or anything, really, and the dinosaur eggs melt dissolve and inside are little dinosaurs they're like kind of like little candy dinosaurs I guess um, in your oatmeal I think it has to be hot you know hot milk or hot water in your oatmeal anyway I loved that as a kid and I remembered it a few years ago I was like oh my god I know I'm not a kid anymore wow the smoke I know I'm not a kid, but I would still like to get some dinosaur meal and relive my childhood. So as a 20-something-year-old adult, I went and bought some oatmeal, dinosaur oatmeal for myself. And the girl was about my age. Um, at the cash register, I was like, what is this? It looks amazing. <laughs> so I told her, I informed her of the joys of dinosaur oatmeal and that it melts. And she said she was immediately going to buy some really fun. It's a really fun thing. Okay, so, um, we got beaten up just now, and now the phone is ringing. So, he sent someone to beat us up, basically. Basically, he was like, yeah, that was too short for you to pay that much, so we're gonna forget about the loan. Um, so we no longer owe that $5,000, but, um, and if we had paid some, actually, it would have been returned to us. So we need to figure out how to make our warehouse operational. There's another thing. People in America don't really call each other lads. You're a resolute lad. That makes me think the company must be British. Taking a loan is now available. Um, honestly, our uncle is a very scary person. And he just sent someone to beat us up, so I would like to avoid owing him. Doesn't sound good. Oh, right now we need to um, complete the challenge, which is just buy an outdoor decoration. Let's buy this table. Twenty dollars. Okay, done. Um, yeah, that's all we have to do right now. We can buy more later. And now we level up the gas station. It's free right now. Look at that! Our gas station expanded a little bit. Oh dear, we've got more things that we need to paint now. And we have the mail. Quite a lot of mail. I'm not gonna stop and read it all. We can open and close whenever... Oh, now our shelves is just setting out in the middle of the store. Realistically, maybe it should go over here and I should put the painting like... Like up here, I can do that. Although whenever you move your shelves, they um, you have to restock all the products. 
Let's see. So I just say, chips away, craze, sun's paprika, popcorn, wallies, and chunky <laughs> It's very interesting names for this. Oh, we're actually really low on fuel. We may need to schedule a delivery. Um, let's do that real quickly. We'll order some fuel. $200, we can afford that. And now we will go ahead and get this guy all checked out. I kind of try to challenge myself to see if I can keep the the belt running the entire time, but this has messed me up and it's a gamble. Okay, now we're going to be trying to find a way to open the warehouse. This is the warehouse back here. And um, it's locked. Yeah, how can we get in? actually don't remember how do you get in. Oh, there's another customer. Maybe I should, um, I should maybe shut down the gas station for just a couple minutes. And by couple minutes, I mean like a couple of hours. Are you having a good evening, ma'am? Just trying to make small talk, you know. Oh, yeah, let's, um, let's just close it down really quickly. while we get some more fuel. You know, give us a chance to get our breath and, um, um, <laughs> well, that was something. Okay. Um, I think I need a key. Yeah, actually, it's showing me literally exactly where you get the key and I haven't been paying attention. Press F to pick that up and I can move it around. Let's get the fuel going. Oh my gosh, I have to say, my feet right now are killing me. Like, I spent a long day walking yesterday and I feel like an old lady now. <laughs> you have to be careful. If you leave these open, people will steal from you. So, we've got a lot of haystacks and for some reason, haystacks mean you literally cannot use the warehouse. I mean, yeah, some of them are kind of in the way, but not all of them. There's another bin over on the side that we can use. Yeah, I just feel like we really can't open the gas station right now because there's like so much that we're like, I'm all the way back here cleaning up the warehouse, and if a customer would come in, and I just... It would really mess with the flow of everything, and there's also some, you know, trash and stuff everywhere that we could uh, clean up. Oh man, there's a lot of hay. There's also some kind of, like, bear performance happening, like, I don't know if you saw, but there's... <laughs> We can actually even play the guitar, but uh, I've turned the music off, sorry. Um, you know, m the mu music's not always relaxing in a game. And this isn't exactly meant to be a relaxing game, but I think it is. I think it's uh, fun to watch as well. Well, that didn't work. Come on. I think we should order some, um, I think we should order the, the trash guy to come pick up the trash. What do you think? Let's just clean up a little bit more. What else? Anything else I can just kind of pick up? Oh, you know what? Let's let some light in here. Go over there. Go over there. That's better, right? Lynn? some light into this place. Wow. Oh my goodness, this, these things are freaking out. I have noticed that I've had some... I've had some trouble with stuff like this. See? Like, it's... Oh gosh. <sighs> Go over there. Goodbye. <laughs> it's almost overwhelming how much trap... 
much trash is over here, like I just... Go! I think that it's just gonna stay there. I kind of hope that it would just disappear, but I can't fit them in those bins right now. Okay, let's order trash collection. Maybe we should put some more in this one while we're at it. There's like, you know, a lot of stuff over here. And actually, you know what? Let's clean up this stuff first. We've got things like this filing cabinet. And uh, another old mattress. Delightful. Very, very nice, yeah. And this palette, which is kind of awkward to fit through the door. Because my character doesn't know how to turn things to the side, apparently. And uh, what is this, like an old rug or something? Or some carpet? A bit of carpet? Something like that. Fit in there. Oh, oh dear. Okay. And, um, it's like an old toolbox. That can easily go in there. Anything that I can just kind of put in the... Yeah, I can just kind of throw out these... You'd think that I could get maybe like a little bit of money back from like the computer. I, I don't know, like some people might want the old parts. You never know. And this old TV. Very old TV. Um, I really should open up the store again because, you know, we're not making money and these are good prime daylight hours. Okay, maybe we'll just open it up while I... are open if you want to stop by. No, they don't want to stop by. Our gas station doesn't look nice enough for them. Oh, also, did you notice that we got like an additional bit in the front? There's a lot of work to do. That's what's really fun about this game is there's always work to do. There we go. Our warehouse has been leveled up to level one. Let's do a quick sweep. Get this place ready for some customers. Okay, and back to cleaning. And then I want to order the delivery. Oh, I really wish you could, like, rotate things. Otherwise, it's really hard to get things out sometimes. Okay, that worked. I can actually order it right now. And throw the rest out while we wait. Okay, that should be good. Now we're going to order some more products to stock our shelves. Let's do that. Okay. So we go to delivery, products, and the prices change every night, which is really fun. So as you can see, the green ones, they're pretty good. Like, the price is below the average right now. Uh, but this one price is a little above average, so maybe we don't buy that one today, so I usually just buy the ones that are green. Toppy and Betty's Tonic and Tropicolo. And then we'll buy some snacks, let's see. I love the top row is all um, a little pricey, so we'll buy some popcorn, buy some bollies, and some chunkios. And as you can see, we can only fit 200 products in the warehouse. We are at 185. So that's okay, and it's gonna cost quite a bit. We will get that money back. Um, see, there's already a customer right now. Hello, ma'am. Sorry, I did not see you there. These are definitely just Pringles. <gasps> the Pringle can. You know, the infamous round Pringle can that, as a kid, you used to stick your hand into. I'd say my, probably, my biggest claim to fame. That's a lie. Um, but... <laughs> Probably, okay, basically, and as I've pointed this out to you guys before, I have unusually small hands. Oh, no, that thing didn't get taken. I have unusually small hands to say how tall I am. I'm above average height, especially for a woman, but I have really tiny hands. My hands are about as big as 
one of my friends who's like 5'2 she's very tiny and our hands are like the same size so I have really small hands and they can still fit in the crinkle jar whoa your hair, your goatee is something else and it changed color as he left so yeah, I would say that's like my biggest claim to fame, you know? if that's what I'm bringing to the table, friendship-wise you need someone to stick their hand in the Pringles can for you? I'm, I'm your girl, you come see me oh, I forgot to close the warehouse remember when I was like, people can steal from you yeah, okay, we gotta be careful oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get up here? So you just load them on the shelves you gotta do the, the loading yourself you gotta do everything yourself which is really fun and then you say thank you, goodbye and then I close I throw some more stuff out and then I gotta wait for him to leave this thing is freaking out so yeah, you gotta do like a lot of things yourself, which, oh my gosh, which I really like, but I've actually reached, you know, the point of the game, later on you are able to hit hire help, and that's really fun, because then you can kind of balance how much do I want to do personally, how much do I want to just manage, um, then you can strike your own balance. I really, I know I said this last time, but I really did not expect to enjoy this game as much as I do. I think it's somehow, it's like the perfect combo I'm actually going to fuel up in between. It's somehow exactly the kind of game that I wanted it in, in a simulation game. It reaches the balance of like, um, management running, you know having control over like a business with like personally doing things and tasks and um i yeah i've been recommending this game to everyone it's so much fun okay oh i need to now that i've um i can actually put the products on the shelves look at that there we go there's still room for more and oh starting to get annoyed with his phone calls let's go see what he wants yes uncle oh just talking about like um we now have a popularity rating and um we need to buy a toilet which is what i've been saying for ages like that's kind of a big thing of gas stations, right? Stopping and using their gross bathrooms. <laughs> Alright, now we have one stall, and let's see it. Yep, looks like a gas station bathroom. Alright, we're getting this thing cleaned up. And let's get you out of there. Let's sweep the thing up. Oh, much better. And let's do a little painting too. Basically painting, if we paint it white, it just looks like we really cleaned up the tile, you know? And I know we have a, a customer waiting right now, but they can wait just, they can wait a minute. So we want to increase the station's popularity rating by one. Basically, every time someone comes in and they had a good, whoops, they had a good experience, like with the gas or buying a snack or something. Hello, can I just come in and paint? Oh, this is a lot closer than I want it to be. You just like don't really get the opportunity to paint in here unless someone else <laughs> opens the door. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, let's go take care of the customer. I don't want them to wait too long. Hello, how was your evening? There we go. And we 
we have mail. Oh, I'll just go read the mail just to make it go away. Annoying. Okay. Going back to painting the bathroom. I want this to be the best, cleanest gas station bathroom you've ever seen. And they do actually pay to use the bathroom. Not a lot, just like a dollar or something. Um, which is really annoying. Great for me and the business. Super annoying for the customers. Okay. Nice, see? And it's been going up in the top corner. We're now at 20% popularity, or 20% on the way to level 1. There we go. It's really dirty in here. Let's clean things up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Better. We're already at 27%. Okay. Um, oh, more dirty in here too. I can actually continue painting. See, it's 150. Wow, that's really pricey, I feel, for any bathroom. Oh no. No. <laughs> okay, I'll paint the sides now. We did unlock more colors when we leveled up the gas station. So we could actually go for. No! I'm so bad at this. Could pick some <laughs> new colors. Man, I might as well just commit being really bad at painting. Hello. Hope you are having a good night. There we go. Um, I'll paint this one really quickly before he's ready to check out. I painted my other gas station in my personal game. I went with very different kind of colors. Um, oh, that's actually quite getting quite high and we don't want it to stink up the place because then customers are unhappy and I think they'll leave you like a negative review. Oh look, they enjoyed the bathroom. Had a positive bathroom experience, so we've gone up to 40%. And... Come on. I don't know if they're actually going to buy anything or not. I don't see them in there. Oh, yep, I guess so. Let's hurry up. Oh, hello. Oh, we got two customers. Wow. Busy night. In my personal save, um, I've gotten to a point where I get so overwhelmed at the amount of customers I had that I'd basically been closing every night um, just to give me a chance to oh no my mouse got stuck oh dear well that's what happens see it, if it falls in and you don't scan it then they're like boo and you go down a bit even though if you got something for free wouldn't you be happy? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't get that. Um, anyway, I'm having to close it down to like restock, you know, order more products and maybe buy more fuel and uh, constant new customers. And I have to give my employees a chance to rest now because I have employees. Well, I had one and then I just got another because I had one employee just working the cash register here because I find it tedious and I get stressed out and it was the one thing that I was messing up every now and then. Um, the fueling, I never really messed up unless I accidentally just like double clicked when to start the game and then when you double click it's like start fueling, stop fueling immediately. So yeah, um, previously where I was leaving the store open, you know, just round the clock, I'm now having to maybe close around 12 midnight or something and then open up in the morning. Yeah. 
I like this color combo. I think it's pretty. You can even paint the roof, you know. But it's just so nice and satisfying to watch this place go from gross and run down and just, oh, so, so awful to this, well, I don't know if I'd call it beautiful, <laughs> this nice, happy, shiny place that's got all these products and clean bathrooms and Someone came in, I didn't even hear them. Hello. How come they always have like platinum blonde hair? Is it the lighting? The lighting is weird, cause look, it's like the hair is glowing, it's so white. And then as they leave, it turns... Oh, it's, kind of, it's still pretty white. It must be a weird lighting issue. Okay, back to painting. Painting is my favorite thing to do in House Flipper just because I really like the sounds. I'd say the sounds in this game are also pretty good. Maybe not as good as House Flipper sounds. Yeah. Someone commented on my last case at the gas station to be like, man, where do, you know, you keep finding these simulation games? I think they're, they're quite popular, you know? Um, the simulation genre is really in, and that makes me really happy because I've always been a huge sim fan. I love simulation. Uh, life simulation, you know, business simulation, whatever. If it's simulation, I will take it. It's always been my favorite genre since I was a little girl that wasn't really allowed to play many games, but, um, Sometimes I could get away with it if they looked kind of educational, like Zoo Tycoon. I always used to be like, I learn a lot about animals. <laughs> I did. I did genuinely, but mainly it was for entertainment value, of course. Alright, so we're already at 73%. Let's walk around and just have a look at our gas station. Everything looking good? It is looking good, and you know what? We've got quite a bit of money that I'm thinking, let's buy some more decorations. So what else can we get? We can buy this chair. And we can buy a bench out front. What about a notice board? Yeah. I'm gonna buy all of them. No smoking. Yep. A neon sign. Sure. And... Hmm. Stuff's starting to get expensive. We could actually look around the back. I wanted to get some stuff. Ah, oh, here, yeah. The little pennants, they're so cute. And, um, that, and, yeah, the big sign. Alright, we spent quite a bit of money, so no more spending money right now. Let's... Oh, I thought we had customers. I like your overalls, ma'am. Well, she is gonna want to check out. To find everything you need? Yes? Okay. Good. I like to think that my, my gas station is a relaxing experience. You find the products you need and all oh, you give us a tip. Bless your heart. Okay. Let's fuel this person up. Give them a relaxing fueling experience. Oh, and you know what? I totally forgot that I did want to buy more fuel. And I spent all my money on... I spent all my money on decorations. Come on, though. Aesthetics is important for a business, you know? That no, one's, no one wanted to come to this gas station when it was gross and run down. But now that it's looking prettier, people are liking us so much more. And there we go. We reached popularity level two. And we got this nice little sign out front. The Dust Bowl sign. It doesn't look great, but... <laughs> oh, I'm not sure we have enough money to 
buy more fuel. It's usually about two hundred dollars. And then we're gonna be buying this workshop, which is three. Maybe I shouldn't have bought so many decorations. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I learned a lesson. And you can always take a loan from your uncle, and I think he'll give you like a thousand dollars, but you have to pay it back apparently pretty quickly. I've, I've never done that because I don't... You? Are you okay? Because <laughs> I don't like him, I don't trust him, and you know, I just don't think it's a good habit to be in to be like owing a scary person who can beat you up or send his thugs to beat you up. It's not good to be in the habit of owing him. Oh, it's only 175 because the price has gone down. Okay, well we'll order that. And hopefully we'll get some more customers, and there we go, the customers are coming in now. <gasps> Look at the sunrise! Sun rising over the dust bowl. Wow, it looks really nice. It's so pretty, and then we've got this cool sign. Oh, look at the clouds moving. I love it. I love this little, like, old-school Americana. It's very cute. Okay, you ready to check out? Okay. Gonna buy some popcorn. And the prices for all of the products, they do change at midnight, so... Next time we go to buy more stuff, they will, the prices will change. I find it kind of hilarious that people are tipping me, because, like, on one hand, oh, that's awesome, you guys are giving me a tip? Wow, that's so nice. Um, and then I'm like, am I supposed to be tipping my cash, uh, uh cash register people? What's the term? Cashiers. Am I supposed to be tipping my cashier? <laughs> Reminds me of a joke from Community, where Chang was like, I used to be, before he was a teacher, he's like, I used to work uh, as a bag boy, like at a grocery store, and he was like, you know, I was making X amount plus tips, and Jeff's like, wait a minute, am I supposed to be tipping my bag boy? <laughs> and that makes me think of that, I'm like, am I meant to be tipping people? I don't know, tipping in America is kind of crazy. That was a weird thing to get used to in the UK that, like, you just don't tip there. Although, actually, the last time I was in the UK, I noticed that it's become a much bigger thing of making it easy to add gratuity, so I think that that might be picking up. I'm not against tipping. But I don't like when it's expected, because then I think it just sets like a false standard of... Because you know that people are not um, getting paid really well, because like we don't pay people in the service industry well at all, which is awful. Um, so everyone wants to... Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was coming straight for me too. Everyone wants to tip, right? So to help um, pay these people, you know, so they can live and, and eat and stuff, even if it's good or not. I just think that we should be paying people a lot more. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to get into that, though. Okay. What do you think? It's looking so cute. I really like it, the backdrop of, are we in, I think maybe we're either in Southern California, because I heard California get mentioned, but it also looks like Arizona, Nevada, kind of a desert, you know? It's kind of that, that whole region out in the southwest kind of looks like this, you know, dry and deserty, and it's very different from what I know, which is like hot and humid, so um, I would love to go out west to see this. Oops, there we go. There's some stuff to clean up. Yeah, I'd really like to go out to California sometime. I've heard 
a lot of awesome things about it. Oh, you didn't get thrown out because <laughs> you're too big to go in the thing. Uh oh, what happened here with this chair, too? Yeah, I'm not really sure if... What? Why does this thing keep coming back and it's just standing straight up? Oh boy. Oh, we got a customer I didn't even notice. Look how much we've managed to expand just today. I don't have enough to buy the workshop though, but I gotta be honest, the workshop is a lot. So the workshop is here. This is, this is it, believe it or not. I mean, it does say workshop up there. So if I pay $300 to get it fixed up, um, then people can come in and they can get their cars uh, all fixed. Like you start out with just doing three things. You can re you can um, replace tires, you can fix scratches and wing mirrors, side mirrors. Um, and I, it's probably my least favorite thing to do is to fix up the cars because it takes so many products and then the products are really expensive that I feel like I just never really make much of a profit on it. Also because unlike the snacks and the drinks and things, you're not buying things in, in bulk. You know, when you buy like the popcorn it was like 25 or 30 things of popcorn at a time but you buy just one tire at a time and one tire could be like fifty dollars or 55 oh no wait come back i wanna there we go i, I reached it i just realized that we forgot to paint you know this bit and i know that no one sees it but or like they don't even count it as being I don't know. I don't think that the customers necessarily care if things are painted, but I care, you know, I care. I want you to have a good gas station experience. <laughs> yeah, so. So I'm not crazy into the workshop. And it's not even the doing the workshop bit, like, you know, because I could hire someone to run the workshop. You know, it's buying the products, buying the really expensive tires that you go through, like, really quickly. It feels like a money sink kind of thing. But you have to repair it to move on. I think you might be able to turn it off in the settings. There's a few things you can turn off. You can say, hey, I don't want this to be part of my game experience. For instance, Dennis, you know, the annoying kid I pointed out earlier, you can actually turn him off and say, hey, don't let this kid come and destroy my business. <laughs> um, but um, by default, you know, he's on because he is part of the game experience. But I like that it lets you kind of, I can actually kind of see maybe, uh, I think, in gameplay. Dennis vandalizing walls, you can turn off the bus and warehouse stealing and stuff like that. Um, so the, you can't actually turn off the things like the warehouse, I guess. And you know what's really annoying is that I would love to be able to turn the workshop on or off the same way that you can go click the button and turn the gas station off the workshop, I wish had like a separate on off, like like it, it's like if the dust bowl is off, then the workshop has to be off but if the dust bowl's open, you could control whether or not the workshop is operational by like shutting the doors and I thought that maybe that would be a thing, but it's not bit of dirt in the bathroom. Let's clean it up. Where is it? It says it's dirty in here. Not not very dirty, but I still can't afford <laughs> to get the workshop. I'm looking around trying to see if there's anything I need to paint, anything I need to do.
you're just throwing some trash out you don't wanna maybe I should move this thing put it over here and I know that this is kind of like technically you could throw it out but it seems to be you know it's working it's even telling time right does it only have one hand yeah Um, so I didn't want to throw it out. Oh, we're so close. Come on. Can you buy a lot of products, please? Yeah, a lot of products. Come on. $50 worth of products. And yeah, she only bought four products. Or will buy four products. Four drinks. Okay, well, that helped, and we're actually already almost halfway to leveling up our popularity again. And when you level up your popularity, you can buy new things and whatnot. Like, you unlock things. We can actually paint our warehouse, too. I was thinking maybe we'd pick a nice color for that. Um, should we stick with the same color theme? Maybe we stick with the same one and be very uniform. I know that later on we can unlock red, which is nice. I was thinking of going with a, a red and white barn kind of look. And I think that that would look really nice in the warehouse or maybe in the workshop. Let's go. Um, excuse me, I just jumped on that person's car. I can't believe I did that. Wow, really? That's all you wanted to buy? Come on, man, I need the money. Can you just buy, like, a little more? Oh, she's... no, okay. So yeah, I think I would like to paint this thing, or maybe the workshop, red and white. But I guess I can always repaint, right? I did actually reach a point where, um, my... the paint was looking dirty, so I did actually have to do a new coat of... fresh coat of paint to get rid of all the dirt and the grime that it accumulated. It took like a week, I think, for it to... for it to look that way. Wow, you got a lot of fuel. You're gonna make us need to buy more. There we go. Okay. Let's unlock the workshop now. There we go. Here's our workshop. It also looks gross. You know, considering the fact that we, like, built that thing up from the ground, you'd think the wood would have looked a lot nicer, rather than coming out looking run down. <sighs> Ooh, the dust bowl with the sun setting. It's so pretty. I really love our little gas station. So, here's the- here's the workshop. There's actually some stuff we could throw out. I'm just gonna throw out that box. And somehow I can put the trash bags in the other trash bags. So this is where the tires go. Here's where our spare mirrors go. And then this is where our scratch remover things go. Oh, that is so beautiful. Just gorgeous. I love it. Okay. Hello. How is your evening going? We're definitely going to have to fix up a car in a second, though. Let's keep an eye out on the workshop. The cars just drive right in. And I do want to paint it, of course, but um, the, the color I want, red, is not available yet. I think we will unlock it at uh, level 3, I believe. So. Yeah, the workshop is a lot like the... it's like a lot of mini-games. It's very similar to doing stuff in uh, House Flipper, when you like install something and you have to like unscrew bits and pieces and... Oh, here we go. Here comes our first customer. You'll see. Okay, so they drive up. 
straight through that thing somehow. Wait for the customer to get out. Then we press the button and the car gets lifted up on the jack. I can use this left shift view to see if they need a new tire down here. Then I unscrew the old tire, take it off, put on the new tire. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you've probably replaced a tire in your life. I know I have. Um, because my dad, you know, wanted me to know how to do it. This mirror needs to be fixed, and it was very straightforward. We take out the broken glass pieces, and we put in the new mirror. Fortunately, literally every car in this game has the same kind of mirrors, and takes the same kind of tires. And then, here these scratches appear, which were not here literally a second before. We just remove them by kind of going back and forth like this, and then they pay us a lot of money. So it is a good way to get more money, but as I said, it's expensive buying car parts. I'll show you. After we let this person buy their chunkios. Okay, let's go to delivery car parts. So tires, $50. As you can see. They, wow, man, they used to be really low a long time ago. They could go up to 90. I've actually bought them at 90. Um, you sell, uh, if, if someone replaces, gets a tire replaced, you would sell for 90. So you're not making a profit if you buy them that much. Scratch removers is going to be 75, and the car mirrors are also 50. Man, that seems so, wow, it's actually not pricey at all. So let's go ahead. I'm going to buy a bunch of tires because I'm not going to lie. Tires are the things that I seem to go through the most. So I'm going to buy four tires and spend nearly all my money. Outrageous. And I probably will need to buy more fuel soon. Because how much fuel do we have? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. But I don't have a ton of money. <laughs> There's the delivery truck with the car parts. Oh, we've got a customer. Good evening, how are you doing on this fine day? Yeah, we should buy more fuel. We're a tiny bit low. But can we afford it? Maybe we can afford it after this customer. Nope, because they literally just spent less than three dollars. I can't afford that, okay. I feel like one thing about this game is it's... Oh dear. Oh, I almost lost it. It's not easy, but it's... It's not hard, but it's not easy, you know? Like, I very frequently find myself out of money because as soon as I have money, I go just try to spend a little bit of it, and I end up spending like all of it. While I wait for deliveries to come in, I usually try to clean up a little bit more. Otherwise, I usually don't come back here very often. Don't hit me, please. Okay. Just need a little. There we go. And we're done. Now they can leave. I can throw out a little bit more stuff. If it can fit. It's not really wanting to fit. We gotta make sure that they totally are out of the garage before we shut it or it will not shut all the way. Here comes the fuel person. Oh, we do have a new customer. Let me just put the the new tires up. There we go. Uh, fuel guy's still coming, so all he needs is a new mirror. That's not hard. Okay, get the old glass out, put in the new glass, and you're done. $100. Um, here comes the fuel. In this weird little fuel machine. Man, I still haven't finished my coffee, but it's very cold. 
that's okay. I usually try to avoid hot coffee anyway. I think I've told you guys before, but I don't know what you've heard and what you haven't heard is that, um, is I, um, hot drinks frequently triggers my rosacea. It's like skin condition makes my cheeks really red. So, um, I try to avoid hot drinks because of that. Is the fuel actually... Huh. Um, apparently Dennis the Menace visited us and I did not even notice. So we're gonna have to repaint. Oh, that little nuisance. I honestly, because painting is free. You know, it's one thing if you have to very rich and only did the same design twice because you don't have to pay for this paint so there's really no downs not a huge downside to Dennis um, if you just let him three times really Dennis I take it you really liked this little cat design you did um, like you will find yourself needing to repaint eventually right when the paint starts looking a little gross. So it kind of just gives you a good excuse to repaint. Um, and it's awkward having to stop and grab something and uh, this happens a lot. It just falls to the floor, to the center of the earth. Yeah, anyway, I don't really mind Dennis that much is my point. He's really not a, he's not a bad kid. He gets to express his artistic side, and then I get to repaint. And I don't spend any money. Nothing's really lost. So I just kind of let him do it these days. Have a good night. They do talk, but I turned off voices because I thought that would be distracting. So right now, um, our goal is to, like, upgrade the gas station. So there's these little challenges. I'll need to fuel 11 cars. I need to serve 25 shop customers and repair five cars so I'm actually already on to number two five I never I, I always miss the cars coming in the garage okay so we're looking at removing scratches and I totally forgot I always forget this that after you um, after you're done with the car with the tires and these scratch removers you just kind of dump them on the ground uh, so you do need to throw them out and I always forget this like see it's there and there and there and there and I always forget and I feel like a customer comes in and I'm like oh no it actually looks gross I'm so sorry <laughs> there's a car lift button over there too hmm Anyway, we are at 97%. We've almost leveled up to level 3 popularity. That's great. Let's serve this. See, it says California. That's why I thought we must be in California. Like outside the city. Because if you look in the distance, you can see... Oh, we did it! Popularity level 3. Yay! Our dust bowl sign got like a little bit bigger or something. Like it got like an extra ring around it or something, I think. Yeah, if you look in the distance, see the big pretty city lights? Okay, now that we have level 3, I want to do... Oh, it's unlock a gas station level 3, not popularity level 3, okay. Yeah, I wanted to paint the garage. But, um, yeah, we don't have enough. Well, um, I'm probably going to leave you guys here because <laughs> um i've been playing for a while and this game is really addicting i could probably sit here and play it for hours and hours and hours with you but we all have to go to sleep at some time and now it's time for you to go to sleep i hope that you had a lovely time with me today i hope you are proud of our gas station let's look at it again it's so pretty look at that i love the, the new pennants and the sign that says 
does bowl gasoline service and I'm just so proud of it. Yeah. And we have this new workshop. Yeah, I'm very proud. Basically. Um, I'll fuel up this car before we go. Um, thank you for everyone who asked that I play again. You gave me a great opportunity to play what is currently one of my favorite games. Um, so I had fun with that. And I had fun with you. And I hope you are relaxed. And, uh, yeah. Just having a good week. And a good day. Sorry, I'm not just gonna... The customers just never stop. I will not, um, you know, I won't be playing this save on my own. I will only save it for ASMR if I ever play it again. I don't know. I don't often play things past two times, um, because usually people may have lost interest by then, yeah, but you never know. This game is quite popular and it's really fun, so, um, if I make another video, we will pick up right where we left off, right here. Until then, I will see you all later. <laughs>